Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, today got a video. I got to do some maintenance on my boat trailer. Just had a tournament on Saturday, and when I got home, I realized that I had some uh, some seepage on the back, on the inside, a uh, sealed part of my vault hub on my boat trailer. So. Luckily, I had a seal already, but just went to Texas Boat World here in uh, Colleen, Texas, and got the uh, um, this, the, uh, the O rings, the seals. I got some bearings already and all that. I already had that just in case something like this happened, uh, but I didn't need O ring though. So, went and picked that up from Texas Boat World, picked up some uh, green thread locker. Instead of the blue, I heard the green is better. Put the hub back on. Um, just got some of the parts needed so I can go ahead and do this repair. Got another tournament on Saturday, so I got to uh, get this knocked out. Today's Tuesday, so should be good to go. If I got any issues or problems, give me a couple days to get right before we got to execute Saturday. So just on my way back home. Catch y'all in a second when we see the repair. All right, so I'm back in the garage after coming back from the Texas Boat World and getting the, uh, the parts that I needed. I uh, already took the uh, cap off. I don't have any uh, leakage on the outside of the hub. However, let's see. Yo! You go underneath here and look. You can see that good or not. We got some leakage. And we got some slingage on the inside of the wheel. You can see that good or not. So that one's pretty bad, and we gotta do the the back, the back rear one as well. So what you gotta do is uh first we'll lift the tire up, jack it up, and um uh take the wheel off. And then we'll knock the hub off and we'll go ahead and get in there. All right, be right back. So, jacked up the uh, front tire and uh, removed the, uh, remove the tire and exposed the brake, which I'm gonna have to remove. And what I used for the, to remove the tire, just the impact tool, it's a 19 millimeter. So now I'm gonna get back here and get these bolts. You can see it too well, but there's some two bolts back here. And we'll remove the brakes and get them uh, out the way so we can take the hub off. Alright. Alright, so we took the brake off. And obviously there's grease everywhere. It's slung all over. Um, the had to use a breaker bar to break free the, <clears throat> the 9 16 bolts. And then clean them up. But I used a breaker bar and then my, my little ratchet to get them off. But there's just two, I don't know if you can see it, there's just two bolts back there. But, um, so next we're going to knock off the uh, hub and then we'll take off the, the cap and screw and all that and get it going. Right. So while we're getting ready to, to get into here, let me go over some of the tools that we're going to use. All right, so we got some, uh, some red RTV high temp gasket maker. Got some grease fittings. So that's why we're going to have to put the grease back into the hub. I got a little, I got a couple of these little guys I had around. But this is a reducer. It's a two, two inch to a half inch, or two to one and a half inch reducer to knock the, the hub back on. There's my little rubber hammer. And I got some brake cleaner to clean off all the madness. We'll use, oops, we'll use some green thread locker. Put the hub back on to secure it. Got some new cotter pins. And, uh, Here's my seal kits I got. I got some, some bearings, some races, and then the seals. And then I got the O-rings that are still in the bag. But uh, just went to my local auto zone. And uh, this is a bearing race and seal driver set. So you can rent this. I rented mine for 59 bucks, And once you return it, you get your $59 back. So pretty good deal. Um, so that's the way to do it, I think. Those are some of the tools we're going to use, though. 
So this is the hub on there. And what I did, I used my little dead blow hammer um, just to bang it on one side, rotate the hub, bang it on the other side, keep rotating it, and then bang it, keep rotating, bang it, and soon it'll loosen up and it comes right off. <clears throat> so there's that. So next you have your, um, you have a cotter pin, you'll have a castle, castle nut, and then another nut in there would take off and then the hub will come off. All right, so I already took mine, uh, my uh, cotter pin, uh, the castle nut, and uh, I loosened all that up, but I cleaned it up just so everybody can see it. So what you're gonna do is once you once you get in, this will all be covered with grease, so you won't see this as you looked in the previous video. Um, but, um, so you'll take your cotter pin out, right? Just bend it straight, <clears throat> and then pull it out with some pliers. Clean it off, set it to the side. And then you'll move your castle nut, which will be right here. And then this nut you'll have to take off as well. Like I said, I already loosened all this up, so I'm just, um, it's just hand tight now. But you'll have to take all this off. Uh, loosen this bad boy up. Let's see here. And then there's a washer behind here. You slide it forward a little bit. You'll see that washer. So let me my, my pliers. Oops. Get my pliers and let's try to get that going. Oops. Trying to do is left-handed hold the camera. There we go. So then there's your washer. It's got a. If you, ooh, if you notice, it's got a flat side to it. So that's how it'll be ordered. It's just as you take this stuff up, just clean it off, set it to the side, and uh, we'll keep going. You can see right there the bearing. So we'll pull all this off and then we'll replace the gasket on the back. All right. All right. So once you take it off, just get you a, a rag, clean off all the grease that's on your spindle, and you can see the blown out seal and all the grease that went flying everywhere on the hub or on the rotor and all that good stuff so we're gonna take that seal out on the back <clears throat> it's bad and then clean this dude up and then um you know make sure that your the seal is smooth you don't got no burrs or nothing on it make sure that your um your spindle is not damaged or anything like that but if you see this little hole here that's where your grease will come out so <clears throat> You'll, we'll put a fitting on the front here and I'll show you the little greaser and that's how we'll pump the grease in and it'll come out this hole and that's how it fills up on the bolts. All right, so we're gonna take this seal out, clean this up and go from there. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you what I did. I took out the, um, the hub, took it off the boat and brought it over here to the little workbench. It's a little easier to work on. Uh, so what I did next is this the old seal and it, it looks pretty tore up, but that was really me taking it out. Um, so I had to, you know, I banged it with a, a screwdriver and hammer and just to get an edge on it and then pried it out. And then underneath it are your uh, first set of bearings. So I took them out. Um, bearings look fine. There's plenty of hybrid oil grease in there. So I think everything's fine. I think just the seal blow. So I'm not going to um, replace my bearings. I'm going to leave them and the races and everything in there. And I'm just going to... Um, Put the seal um, back on, on the the new seal, which is this one here. Put this new seal on here. Put some of this RTV gasket maker, the red stuff on the outside of it, around this gold portion on the on the bottom out here. Put a, a, a seal of that all the way around. And then I'll put it on here. And then I'll use the, um, the tool here that I rented from uh, AutoZone and pound it. Make sure I put the bearing in there first and then pound it, you know, back in. Um, and then what you want to make sure that you have is a, um, a continuous bead of that RTV all the way around the outside. So make sure when you, um, do this gasket, I don't want to get done this grease on the, but when you do this gasket, make sure that that RTV is a solid, good bead all the way around there. So that when you pound it back in, it'll, um, you know, it'll seal up good. So it'll go back inside here just like this. And then on these walls of it, that's where you'll put that RTV uh, sealing on. So you put your bearing back in there, put this bad boy back in there, and then your back should be good. And then we'll talk about the front. But the other thing I'm gonna do is um, 
there was a lot a lot of grease spilled out actually so i'm glad i caught it when i did but um i took some of this brake cleaner just regular brake cleaner stuff um be careful not to get anything inside of here inside of this deal get it you know i sprayed along here and i'm gonna clean this off a little bit better and get all the grease off of the brake uh the the rotor um the other thing i did is i just ordered uh another uh brake pad set for this one this one's a wore down so i figured once i took them off i'll clean up that that caliper and all that good stuff over there and uh, install another set of brake pads on there and then this one should be good to go so all right get back in a second all right <clears throat> so what i did i just put a nice little bead of that rtv gasket maker all the way around the red the um the gold portion of the seal um that little bit of on the black i'll wipe that off but try not to get any on the inside and uh, so what we'll do now again ensure your bearing is in there before you do this or you'll have to get a new seal and do it all over again and then you'll just set this in here and then we'll get our um our bearing driver kit get the size that um is a little bit larger than the okay. circumference of this opening and you'll pound this in all the way flush with that so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i will keep right back okay so what i just did i just cleaned this all off i got a little bit on there still but um i took my um bearing driver kit and pounded into that seal make sure it's flush so this will go flush with the outer portion you see how that's nice and flush now that's why it's important to get this the what the the larger size to go over this side is perfectly flat and it'll make that seal nice and flush but what you want to have is make sure you got a bead all the way around there once you get done there should be a nice continuous bead all the way around there all right and then just clean up your excess rtv and now you got to let that sit uh, for a little while to set up all right just make sure you clean it up and get all the little you get any red stuff on the inside any of the gasket material just clean all that stuff off and then let it let it uh, set up yeah so now that i got my uh gasket my rear steer on the on the hub setting up with the rtv um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean off the, all the grease and junk that's <laughs> just falling off of this thing so i'm gonna clean that up i got some a big can of brake cleaner and clean all this stuff up and get it as clean as i can it probably won't be perfect but we'll get it up and get it cleaned up here in a little bit all right so we did we cleaned up our caliper a little bit <clears throat> slid the uh the rotor uh back onto the spindle um before i did i put a little bit of grease on top of the spindle just slid that back on and inserted the um the bearing you can see in there inserted the bearing <clears throat> And then excuse me and then i also um uh put the zerk fitting on there so what i'll do now is put the the uh the washer the nut um castle nut and then the um cotter pin but prior to that i filled up this cap and what you want to do is just put some grease in it and you want to keep it below that little ring in there just kind of bang it down help it settle a little bit I probably put I'll put a little bit more in there, but you want to keep it below that uh, that metal uh, sleeve in there. So there we have it with the the washer behind it. So we put our bearing in, washer, nut, and we snugged it up pretty um, pretty good, so that the rotor's not wobbling or anything. It's it's pretty it's good and tight on there. Then you put your castle nut, and then your new cotter pin. Remember, we still have the Zerk fitting on there because we got to pump grease into this to fill it up. Now, if you remember earlier, I showed you the hole it's on the back of that spindle. That's where the that grease will come through, and then you'll start to see it come out around that bearing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and um, bend my cotter pin up, and then I'll start pumping in the grease, and then we'll go back. All right. All right. So we took our uh, two inch to one and a half inch reducer. Um, block of wood and our little ball peen, uh, little uh, soft mallet, not ball peen, little soft mallet, and uh, pounded the hub back on. And uh, like I said, I ordered the brakes so they will the brake pads will be in 
um, later this evening. So I'll go pick them up and then put it up. But basically that's it. All you gotta do is reinstall the pads and reinstall the calipers and that's it, man. All right, hope it's helped somebody wanting to do this. The reason why I did this myself, uh, my local uh, dealer was about three weeks out for maintenance and everything. So I had to get it done early. So I went and did it myself, learned some things and not too hard to do, so. Scale of one to five, I'd say probably a three. Not too bad to do. All right. Let me know if it helps. Leave a comment below. Um, anything I should have done differently, should have, uh, maybe you can suggest. Uh, comment if you've done this before. But uh, like it. Like the video if you like it. And uh, subscribe. All right. Bruce Crew Fishing, man. Take care.